Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. I'll be showing you how to make a winter greeting card with just a few materials. You are going to need some paper for your greeting card, a pair of scissors, an assortment of buttons that you like, some yarn in the color of your choice, some markers, and a threaded embroidery needle. So I am going to show you how to do a snowman craft with some buttons on your greeting card. First, you can pick out which buttons you like. I'm going to choose a larger button for the bottom of my snowman and a smaller one for the top of my snowman. I'm going to take one of my markers and I'm going to make a mark small enough so that I can see where my buttons are going to go. And don't worry, the buttons will cover your marks. So I think I'd like mine to go right here. And if you'd like, you can even begin to decorate the landscape of your greeting card first so that you know what it's going to look like. If I put my buttons here for my snowman, I can figure that the snow will go with a squiggly line along the bottom like this. And notice that it's a pretty steady line that I drew, but you can do whatever you'd like. If you'd like to add some trees, that is fine too. To draw a tree, all you need to do is three simple triangles, but rather than closing the triangles, you are going to leave a space in the center of each triangle and begin the next size up, like so. From the middle point of the first triangle, I'll draw another line and continue in concentric sizes. So cute. You can decorate this as much as you'd like. And you can even draw a sweet message too. I think I'm going to write season's greetings on my card. doesn't hurt to add a few snowflakes here and there. And if you want to add some little dashed lines on your tree to make it super cute, I think that's a good idea. There's something that's so sweet about a handwritten card or a decorated card by hand that any detail that you add Will make it really special. And remember each snowflake is different so it's okay if they don't all look the same. Okay so now that we've decorated the outside of our card I'm going to take my threaded embroidery needle and I will begin to thread the first button of my snowman. Now, you'll notice that this button has two holes. So with your left hand or your non-dominant hand, you'll hold down the button onto the paper. And with your dominant hand, you're going to take your needle that has already been threaded, come in through the back and up through the paper. It may be a little difficult to hold, so if you want to put your button down while you do that, that might be a good idea. And once it comes through the paper, you're going to put it through the first hole of your button and pull all the way until the knot at the bottom of your string stops the thread from coming out entirely. Once you've done this, then you can go down into the paper through the next buttonhole, 
like so. And pull. I chose white embroidery floss because I wanted it to look entirely like it was made of snow. If you'd like to do a different color for decoration, that's fine as well. I'm going to also continue the same stitch that I did before by going in through the first hole of the button and down through the second hole of the button. This is going to help reinforce your button. Since this is a handmade card, sometimes folks like to put them on their Christmas trees or on their fireplace mantle because they're so proud of it. And I know that I have some handmade cards that I keep around year after year because they're so cute and they were made really well by the craftsman. Be careful that when you are pulling your embroidery floss that it doesn't get tangled and you can avoid that by putting one of your fingers in this loop right here and as you pull it's going to prevent any tangling. Now that we've sewn the first button on, what you'll need to do is a balloon knot. So you flip the card over and you're going to take your sharp end of your needle and for this part, you're going to go underneath the stitch and pull until you have a shape of a balloon from your embroidery floss. As you pull, you'll start to see the shape of the balloon come together like so. And you're gonna take the sharp end of your needle and place it in this loop and pull. As you pull, this will form a knot. Now you can snip this off and tie a new knot because we're going to use this needle and thread again for our next button. This button has four holes, so what I'm going to do for this button is sew two diagonal lines to form an X shape. What you can also do is take your marker and kind of estimate where those four holes of the button are. It's okay if they're not exact, but this will really help you. to the side. I can always cover that with some marker. Okay, there we go. As I pull the needle through, now I'm going to place the button over the needle and pull my embroidery floss. As I mentioned before, we're going to do a diagonal line. So from the top right hole, I'm going to come down to the bottom left hole and it goes in nice and gently because the hole has already been poked by your needle. Remember to put your finger in the little loop to avoid any tangling. That's our first stitch and now I'm going to come in from the back side of the paper up through the top left hole down to the bottom right hole. If you need to turn it over to be able to see the hole that you've poked, you can certainly do that. I'm going to come down into the bottom right hole and poke through the paper. pulling all the way, and you can see where the X has shaped. Now we're gonna flip the card over and do another balloon knot. You can bring your needle underneath the closest stitch, and notice that my non-dominant hand is holding on to the embroidery floss to avoid any tangling. Pop the balloon knot, pull all the way, 
and I have a secure knot. You can already start to see the snowman come to life. I'm going to add a cute top hat with my marker by drawing a horizontal line and adding a rectangle right on top. I'll fill it in with the marker. And how cute is this? Now comes the step with our yarn. I'm going to use the yarn to make the scarf of the snowman. So this can be long enough to wrap around your four fingers twice. After you've wrapped it, you're going to snip that off. I'm going to take my tapestry needle, thread it with the yarn, and place it in between the two buttons. After I've placed it between the two buttons, what I'm going to do is wrap the yarn over around the button. So you can see it's gone underneath the button. I'm forming an X with the yarn, pulling nice and tight, and I'll bring the yarn back down to the center spaces where the buttons meet. Here, I'll make another X with the yarn and pull nice and snug. Now that we've completely wrapped the top button with the yarn, you can do a bit of a looser knot to give the idea of a scarf. Once you've done this, you can then snip the yarn however long or short that you'd like it to be. I think it looks a bit more animated when I leave one end shorter than the other. And there you have it, your holiday greeting card. Thanks so much for watching.